here in this forgotten corner of coastal California, nestled amid a curtain of redwoods so far north it feels otherworldly, the state's most pristine river harbors more than a century of secrets. Its emerald green water once flowed red with Native American blood, its wetlands haunted by one of the largest massacres in U.S. history. Today, the Smith River is the last major waterway in California that runs freely without a single dam, a precious refuge for salmon, for steelhead and a bygone timber community still searching for a future. Settlers came here for the gold, and then the trees, but this river is the true lifeline for Del Norte County, a coastal California outlier where farmers now call the shots and environmentalists are met with disdain. The politics lean red, and many here are inclined to secede from a state where most would pronounce Norte as Norte. It's Nort, my whole life, I grew up hearing there's no law north of the Klamath, one resident said. It's like the Wild West out here. And for more than six generations, one family has held the keys to this exhausted frontier, one. 668 acres of pasture land right by the river mouth, where clear, cold water winds its way from the Siskiyou Mountains to the sea. Known as Reservation Ranch, this coveted property has been off-limits to most, deforested and quietly altered over the years by a system of levees, pumps and wetlands packed with discarded waste and dead cattle. So when Reservation Ranch suddenly went up for sale, chaos ensued. Conservationists have sought for years to restore this final piece of the river, and the owners, shoved into the spotlight, are now facing the full force of state regulators who rarely make it this far north. Rumors exploded as fellow farmers met privately to rally against the demise of yet another livelihood. The Talawadini, decimated then sidelined for more than 150 years, have also joined the fray with a bold plea to be reunited with the land, an appeal that shocked many in this mostly white community. This collision of interests now coming to a head at Reservation Ranch strikes at the heart of an uncomfortable truth. California, like the great American West, was largely built on violence, violence to not just the land, but also the native people of the land. Before Jedediah Smith, an American frontiersman who arrived in the 1820s, this land of redwoods, spruce and serpentine was known as Yandia AKVT. For centuries, Talawa people lived in balance with the elk that roamed free, the smelt that returned each summer and the thousands of Aleutian geese that once fanned across the forested coast. They stewarded this land through complex laws and time-honored stories. They had a name for every ripple in the river. Then the Natlamitilda T, the knife-brandishing white man, arrived and ran them to near extinction. Today, the Talawa are largely unknown, 